Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk to you about the irony of trying to avoid something bad. Quite often when we try to avoid a, an undesired outcome, our actions can actually increase the odds of that very thing happening. And that's what I want to discuss in this video because this phenomena is very ironic and it's something we don't often think about because it is pretty rare, but you should be aware of those cases that are a bit more common where this can happen to you. So make sure that you are aware that sometimes you shouldn't try to avoid bad things, but instead just trust in either other people or trust in the universe to handle things in a good manner for you. So let's jump right into this with some examples that will help convey my point. The first one I have for you is something we'll all probably understand, which is when you have two people in a relationship and one of them is trying to prevent their partner from cheating on them. So they're going to do a few things that will, in their mind, decrease the odds of their partner cheating. So just to make this example easier to follow, let's say it's the, the man in the relationship trying to decrease the odds of his woman cheating on him. So some things he might do is he may be a bit more controlling. He'll try to stop her from having girls' nights out, which that one on its own actually makes a lot of sense because that is typically what the event that causes women to cheat the most. So that one on its own, not all that bad. But he may also start policing her phone, not trusting her in that regard, wanting to read her text messages, which is pretty shady. He basically won't trust her to just enjoy her own life and do her own thing. He may not even like hearing if she goes for lunch with a male coworker, that sort of thing. So he's going to act in very stifling ways because he's insecure and he doesn't trust her. Now, in his mind, he's thinking these actions are going to decrease the odds of her cheating because he's able to basically, how do I put it? I mean, it's a pretty dumb logic, but basically he's going to act like the North Korean government and think that that will stop her from cheating, just and controlling the crap out of her. And in his mind, that is going to work. But the problem here is that in reality, him doing all those stifling things is actually going to likely increase the odds of her cheating because she's going to start losing her love for him because he's now controlling and being insecure and needy and weird and she's not going to like that. So whether or not she immediately will break up with him or file for divorce if they're married, she's probably going to start keeping an eye out for other potential men because she now realizes that her current man isn't filling or fulfilling her needs anymore. So that is a great example of a situation where we're trying to avoid something bad and yet our actions can actually increase the odds of that very bad thing happening because we start steering it towards that trajectory by trying to avoid it. So I hope that example conveys what I mean here, but I've got another one that will also do so as well. Now this example is with parents trying to protect their kids a bit too much, trying to make sure that their kids aren't exposed to a lot of pain and trauma. So what they'll do is they'll be overly protective like helicopter parents and they may not even let them go out on like a playground for fear of them falling down, scraping their knee and getting hurt and crying, which happens to all children. It's a part of growing up. So basically these parents are going to police their children so much to try to protect them doing what they believe is best for them and yet it creates the opposite outcome because they're trying so hard to avoid their child feeling any pain or trauma at all, they're going to protect their kids so much that their kid is going to be mentally weak and unprepared to deal with the world. They're actually, we're seeing a lot of this today. Helicopter parents are just horrible. It's, it's really bad for the world because those children end up becoming adults. And like I said, they're mentally weak, which is not a good thing. So these children, once they're mentally weak and they are adults, now they're going to be crushed by life because life does not hold your hand. It doesn't protect you. Their, their helicopter parents aren't always going to be around to save them from the world. So they're going to be screwed because their parents will protect them too much to the point they never got to experience anything that would allow them to develop mental strength, which is very much needed to be happy and fulfilled as an adult. You can't have those things if you're not mentally strong because life will just break you. 
And that will often be what happens to children raised by those helicopter parents. So yet again, here's a situation where people try to avoid a bad outcome, but they end up actually increasing the odds of that very thing happening. The parents try to protect their kids so much that they end up setting their kid up for even more future pain and trauma simply because they protected them way too much from it when they were younger and didn't give them the keys to handle those things in life on their own. So hopefully these two examples convey what I'm getting at here where sometimes in life you shouldn't necessarily try to avoid bad things, especially when it comes to relationships. Just trust your partner, stay secure in yourself. If you believe that your partner has a high potential of cheating on you, instead of investigating their phone and stifling their behavior, just break up with them. If you can't trust them, why are you in a relationship with them? Break up with them. Don't even deal with all the mental gymnastics and all the crap that will lower your self-esteem and your mental health. Just break up with someone if you can't trust them. Don't engage in those stupid games. And Hopefully none of you end up becoming helicopter parents, so let's just obviously let your kids do things, make their own mistakes, learn their own life lessons. You don't need to police their every behavior. But these are just two examples that I knew would convey the point here, but there are plenty of other situations where this holds true. So make sure you analyze things and try to figure out whether or not when you try to avoid something bad, if your actions could actually increase the odds of that undesired outcome. And if that's the case, then like I said, just trust in the universe, trust other people. And if they give you any reason not to trust them, then you can walk away from the situation or break up with them or whatever it may be. But for the most part, just stay secure in yourself and trust yourself to be able to handle whatever life throws at you so that you don't always need to be trying to mitigate everything. Because <laughs> sometimes we just have to learn a few lessons here and there. And sometimes we can't avoid the bad things. But if you try to purposely avoid them, you may increase the odds of them happening anyway. So I hope you got something out of this video. And if so, please like, comment, share, help that <laughs> the darn algorithm, the bane of my existence. And liking, com commenting, and sharing is the easiest way you can support me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Arrivederci!